We go now to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where we understand the country has lifted the nationwide state of emergency that was declared in March to curb the spread of coronavirus after seeing a slowdown in the number of new infections and deaths. Commercial activities resumed Wednesday with banks, restaurants and bars allowed to reopen, while social gathering and public transport also resumed. The president said in a phased reopening of the country that had shot its national borders as well. Joining us now is Richard Mehigo, the Deputy Incident Manager, WHO Regional Office for Africa. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Uh, just straight up, kindly tell us about the challenges facing the Democratic Republic of Congo um, in regards to its fight against COVID-19. Not only that, including measles and Ebola, we know that you're still prone to it. Uh, thank you very much for having me uh, on your show for the invitation extended to us. Um, the Republic Democratic Congo has just came back from a long uh, period of instability. As we know, the uh, last two or three decades have uh, seen the country plunge uh, a civil war, um, and a lot of uh, um, uh, rebellion, which has uh, uh, devastated its uh, uh, social economic uh, uh, infrastructure, including the health system. So uh, what we have seen uh, the last couple of uh, years in PRC is a result of uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, weak uh, system that uh, uh, is uh, not working very well in the country that has led to the outbreak of so many uh, uh, communicable diseases, including measles, including uh, Ebola, uh, uh, but also uh, uh, diseases like uh, cholera uh, and you can name it. All right, before we move on to talk about other issues, let me quickly ask you about the <laughs> video we just watched of uh, the Dr. Emmanuel um, in Washington, D.C., claiming that um, she has treated over 300 people and that hydroxychloroquine does work in um, helping with the COVID-19 uh, situation. Your thoughts on it? Um, no, thank you. I, I think the position of the has been uh, very clear on this uh, issue. Uh, there's been a, a, a large randomized control trial uh, that has been conducted uh, as part of the solidarity trial, and which has clearly shown uh, no specific effect of hydroxychloroquine, and which has led the WHO to uh, stop uh, the, uh, the, the trial. So I will have no uh, further comment to that. Uh, it has been uh, very, very uh, clear and consistent in our uh, communication around uh, this particular issue. All right, the network is a bit, uh, bit shaky, but let's, let's plow on. Uh, an estimated 6,500 children have died from measles in the country since January 2019. What has been done to mitigate this effect on children this year, 2020, amid this pandemic? Yeah, um, last year we saw a very uh, devastating uh, measles outbreak uh, in uh, country uh, that has uh, almost uh, uh, reached all the 26 provinces on the country. Um, WHO working with uh, supporting the Ministry of Health, but also working with other uh, partners, um, have uh, uh, mounted uh, uh, a campaign, a supplementary immunization campaign, that uh, have reached uh, close to 20 million children. Uh, I need to remind that uh, the last uh, uh, outbreak uh, um, uh, claim uh, close to 6,500 children. We had more than 360,000 uh, cases. Um, but the uh, uh, campaign that we conducted last year, uh, but also uh, what the uh, supplementary immunization activities conducted even at the beginning of the COVID have seen the uh, um, prevalence of uh, new cases of uh, measles dropping uh, down to a level that is now manageable, that is currently being controlled by the uh, uh, system. So this is uh, the uh, cons consequence of uh, children that are not uh, uh, receiving their routine immunization uh, doses. And uh, the accumulation of uh, susceptible children over uh, a period of time has led to this uh, explosive outbreak we've seen uh, last year in the country. All right, um, Mr. Richard Mihigo, I'm afraid that's the much time will permit us, but thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on the latest situation in the Congo. 
Yeah, thank you very much for inviting me on the show.